I want to be a singer, an artist, photographer, fashion designer. The Washington State Senate is taking up a bill aimed at overturning a controversial law that allows transgender people to use the restroom or even the locker room of the gender they identify with. This is my youngest daughter. Do you like my drawing, Mom? She's five. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. If you open up the ability of a sex offender to go into a, a, a restroom claiming that they're somebody else. She's a really happy girl. You know, God made us male and female, and we need to honor that. And we're a pretty typical family. It's a safety issue, not just physical safety, but... Except for one thing. My youngest daughter is transgender. 2016 appears to be a year in which social conservatives, having lost the fight over marriage equality, have now turned their attention onto another vulnerable population. The idea that a man can just one day wake up in the morning and dress up as a woman and then go and exploit that in a public restroom is completely false. Being transgender is not related to mental illness. It's no different than inheriting brown eyes or left-handedness. She didn't pick this. This wasn't a choice. You know, it's not contagious. There is a civil right to be included in this society. Governments don't have any legitimate basis for excluding trans people from the restrooms that match their gender identity. Those arguments were used around separate but equal schools and bathrooms and drinking fountains. On issues of individual rights and constant constitutional rights. I don't put that up for a poll. I'm going to vote my principles. You want to talk about rights? Why a right to throw a punch? Ends it, you no! That language and those thoughts and that hatefulness is out there, but I'm ready to fight it. With this trend, should I tell my 16-year-old daughter to expect unclothed boys in her school sports locker and bathrooms? Trans women are women, too. Trans women are women, too. They need to be just like you. They need to be just like you. I have to know that love is going to win over fear. If someone says, you can't use the men's bathroom, or you can't use the women's bathroom because you're not woman enough, or you're not man enough, what they're ultimately saying is you're not human enough.